Hey, it's Krista Watson from Krista Quilts here, and I'm excited to show you how I quilted my block chain quilt. You can find information about my quilt along on my website at kristaquilts.com. I'm quilting a design that I like to call geometric chains. It's an edge-to-edge -edge design that's quilted one line of quilting at a time, and it's really fun. You stitch a straight line, you mix it up with the geometric shape, and the sky's the limit when it comes to your creativity. I'm using a variegated orofil thread, which adds lots of texture to the quilt. Here's the design I'm stitching called Spiral Chains. None of the design is marked, and it's all quilted freehand. I'm making each of the square spirals about the width of the area that I'm stitching so that I don't have to mark anything. I just fill in all the shapes and I don't worry about the design being perfect. Notice how that variegated thread adds a little pop of color to the design. You can see the stitching anywhere the fabric is a tone on tone or solid looking color. Once I get into the printed area of the quilt, the quilting will almost disappear so it kind of adds lots of texture to the quilt. Some areas you're going to see the stitching and some of it it's going to blend in. For this section, I'm making a very simple circular spiral design. Your spirals can look however you want them to, and you can rotate left to right, right to left, whatever feels most comfortable. Notice that when I stop, I reposition my hands, and then I keep on going. I'm going to adjust the quilt a lot as I quilt, stop, and reposition my hands. I'll probably spend more time stopping and adjusting my hands than I will actually quilting, and that's okay. Here's another section where it's starting to blend into the little printed area. If you want your quilting to blend in, quilt densely on printed fabric. If you want it to really show up, use more solid or tone-on-tone -tone colored fabrics. I'm going to stitch one line at a time all the way across the quilt. Visit shop.kristaquilts.com for the pattern and fabric to make this quilt. 